All right, what is up everybody? Blue Moon Mining here. And I'm just doing a quick talking head video, just talking about, well, uh, the, the elephant in the room for everyone, which is the new Alethium Miners coming out. Now, yes, Alethium is now getting overrun with ASIC Miners. And we remember when that happened with Caspa, and it was such a big thing because, you know, profitability, like looking at this, almost $900 a day. It was about $900 a day like a few days ago so yeah it's it's basically a caspa situation uh we all know what happened with caspa um but yeah so obviously gold shell was the first they released their al box and now the al box two and gold shell being gold shell ripping people off it was six thousand dollars like a week ago and now it's two thousand dollars and they're not going to give refunds to anyone who bought one um which is why i never really go with gold shell anymore it's been kind of uh personal download spy I, i'm just i don't really want to go into detail i've just kind of avoided gold shell just because they're just good at ripping people off and they've ripped me off before and then of course after the al box 2 was announced bitmain stepped up and announced their absolute freaking monster machine 15.6 terahash 3500 watts, you know how Bitmain does it, they just just show up and destroy any competitor. And of course, we all know that Bitmain does not like uh, home miners, they just like big companies because that's where they get their money. So uh, they try and make everything as powerful as possible, and this is even the most power, powerful machine too. This could be their weakest machine, they just want to see what the competitors come out with before they launch their second one which would be a pro or the AL2 and knowing them would be like 30 terahash miraculously and make $2,000 a day or something because that's just what Bitmain does and um, a lot of people buy into that stuff and of course Ice River recently announced their uh, AL0 which is a lot beneficial for at home miners because you know it only uses 100 watts compared to you know the original AL box that only gets 360 giga hash and it uses like 300 watts this thing is 100 watts at 400 giga hash the thing makes well i don't know what it makes actually um al0 makes 21 dollars a day which isn't horrible um but if it's like anything i remember when i first bought the ice river ks0 i was making about 26 dollars a day and then a month later it was making like five so it's probably gonna be like that um Alephium's hash rate over the past um, few months has been drastically increasing. It's already over a petahash now. And we already know that once people start getting these AL1 big boy miners, it's, it's going to skyrocket. Everyone knows how it goes. We watched the happen of uh, Caspa. Caspa absolutely skyrocketed in hash rate. But of course, the only reason why Caspa today is still profitable is that Caspa has been able to keep its price appreciation just right to keep these miners profitable. I'm pretty sure the KS0 is still profitable by even just 20 cents, about 14 cents, which is still, you know, about break even for most people, but it only uses 65 watts, which is very impressive. Um, I still have mine, but it's packed away, of course. But yeah, so it's not making a whole lot now, especially since. Um, Casper does monthly emission, um, they're not really halvings, but they drop the emissions every month. So, of course, it's going to go down. Um, Alethium is different. I don't know how Alethium does that. I haven't really looked too much into it. But I do know that, as usual, Ice River has a, I wish I could get a code for them because I actually generally like Ice River, even though some of their projects, or some of their products that have been released lately have been a little iffy, a little little touchy and um of course that is to come you know they if they rush out the product there's gonna be issues with the product but as usual leafium's price is up um usually happens before the announcement of any large asic miner usually when bitmain announces it or gold shell i normally there's normally we tend to see an increase in price which i can guarantee the companies are just artificially increasing the price to make people want to buy it more and then they dump it um that's just kind of a hypothetical thing a lot of people kind of come up with because it's a little odd and i want to be 
surprised that such a large company would do that, but trying to attract customers by saying, hey, look how profitable our machines are. But yeah, so um, I just thought I would get a little quick video talking about the Elithium miners. Um, me personally, if I were to get one, I would probably get the AL0, but probably not going to happen this time around. I'll see what other... I, I think they're working on another ASIC miner for ice river. I wouldn't be surprised if they're developing a radiant one or something. So I'm going to keep my eye out for any new miners that ice river releases. But yeah, um, I don't want to keep you guys too long. There's a slow talking head video going over these kind of ranting about these two companies. Although I do have a Bitmain product and I'm not going to complain about Bitmain. They're a large company. They've been around for a long time. Of course, they're going to pull some stunts that make them a lot of money. So, but Gold Shell, I don't want to go into detail, but it all started when they ripped me off out of $1,000. And the story goes, I bought an ASIC miner from them. It was a KA box. I bought it for $1,090. And then three days later, the price dropped down to like 100 something. And they said, well, there's nothing we can do. Just like... Yeah, it kind of screwed me out of a lot of money, and I haven't been really happy, plus their products. I've had a few other products break, so, and they don't really fix it very well, so. But Ice River, my KS0 runs like a beast. I love that thing, and if I could have got my hand on an AL0 to review or something, I would have probably loved this thing, too, because I actually like the design of the, um, the Zero models of their products. Um, I like this little black box, you know, it's, it looks cool. It, it kind of looks like a, a badass router that sits in the corner of your house or apartment, so. But yeah, hopefully things don't go too crazy with lithium, as again, again, as I said, um, Caspa kind of blew up, but I guess the real difference is Caspa is not worth $2. Um, if it was, a lot of people would probably be very rich right now. But yeah, so Elysium kind of got a head start price-wise. I don't know how well it's going to, you know, handle an increase of hash rate considering Elysium hasn't really been the highest hash rate uh, coin out there. But we'll just have to wait and see. Time will always tell. But I could guarantee once a lot of these models start getting out there that this is no longer going to be that profitable. It's going gonna, it's gonna to drop pretty quick. So um, I wouldn't recommend getting into that unless you have... You know, unless you have the income to do it, unless you have, um, I don't know. I just wouldn't recommend it unless you don't care about throwing away money. Um, but of course, nothing I ever say is financial advice. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.